It's another reaction video. It's another Netflix show that we're looking at. And this one, I had no idea would have so much mental health stuff to talk about. We're looking at Russian Doll. Gun handle. Only in America. There was a time when we could dance until a quarter to ten. We never thought it would end. Happy birthday, baby! It's laced with cocaine like the Israelis do it. Oh. Are you having fun? Uh, fun is for suckers, Max. Two minutes ago, I turned 36, and he's staring down the barrel of my own mortality always beats fun. Okay, so it goes without saying that's not going to be good for you. Nicotine has this bizarre combination of some relaxing effects and some stimulant effects, but then if you start combining nicotine with a stimulant drug like cocaine, then you're not really going to have much of a relaxing night. And that's an opportunity to shamelessly plug the video I did on cocaine, and the link is probably floating somewhere above my head at the moment, so do check it out, and it'll explain exactly how cocaine works and what the stimulant effects of the drug actually are. Hey, little one. Go here. Lucky, yeah. Call for help. Get an ambulance. No, no one's doing anything. Okay, if you ever find yourself in this situation, don't just lurk around and stand around like that lot were doing. Call for help. Make sure somebody's calling for an ambulance. Check for a pulse, and if there isn't one, start CPR. If you're watching this and you're not first aid trained, you really should be, so make sure you think about doing it. Lying there with her eyes open, pretty ominous sign that she's probably dead. Okay, and we're back. Without a scratch, she's just been hit by a car. It's laced with cocaine like the Israelis do it. You've just been hit by a car. Please don't do cocaine. Max. You're not having fun? You hit your party. What was I just doing? What? What do you mean? You're in the bathroom. You mean before that? Do you ever think it's weird? You know, just like partying in an old yeshiva school? Why would it be weird? So she's still alive because as if nothing happens? Once, you know, a safe is this all a really dark dream? It's New York. Oh, is she tripping? Famous. What's up with you? Oatmeal is gone. God, Maybe no. it's not cocaine. It always comes back. There's a very good chance that even though they said they've been sold cocaine, maybe it's cut with something else. Something a bit dodgier, cheaper, maybe a bit more unpredictable in its effects. Ford, I'm you got kids? Is that your pickup line? A son. You have a son. Have we met before? I think I have amnesia. But you just remembered something. Amnesia means you forget stuff. I don't know. I was having the most intense deja vu. Like, I had done this already, you know? This night, this party. This conversation? No. This. This feels new. I think this is new. Mm -hmm. So that makes me think that, uh, you know, maybe I'm okay. Amnesia is the absence of memories, and this can either be retrograde, i.e. we can't remember stuff that's already happened, or anterograde, where we can't lay down new memories of things that are happening now. Small bursts of amnesia can happen as a very extreme response to stress and anxiety, but is more commonly caused by things like traumatic brain injuries, like after being hit by a car, or, if she was older, considering things like dementia. Deja vu is the sense that you've experienced something before. It's this sense of familiarity with something you shouldn't actually be familiar with. 
It can occur as a feature of some forms of psychosis. However, it's more commonly caused by a condition that's called temporal lobe epilepsy. Epilepsy is this tendency to have recurrent seizures. And in this condition, it involves a specific part of the brain called the temporal lobe. And one of the temporal lobe's functions is the formation of new memories. So if this isn't really working properly, our memories can be quite skewed. seem weird to you. You drink too much? <laughs> Me too. No, 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 no. Not more than usual. Do you smoke too much then? Uh, I, I can't remember the last time I ate, but then other things are just so clear, you know, like they already happened and I'm doing them again. I think I'm dead. So flashbacks and this physical response to anxiety, like feeling sick or wanting to vomit, could be consistent with anxiety disorders like post-traumatic stress disorder. This whole very odd experience could be in keeping with something that we call dissociation. This feeling of disconnection from your thoughts, your feelings, your memories, even sometimes your own self-identity, as well as the world around you. Again, it can be a symptom of really heightened anxiety, but it can also be as a consequence of using certain types of illicit drugs. The dissociative hallucinogenic drugs like ketamine, angel dust or phenocyclidine, and even some synthetic agents like methoxetamine can cause this response. I wonder maybe if one of those drugs might have been in that cigarette rather than cocaine. Just an idea? You think you were hit by a car while you were chasing your cat and now you're reliving your birthday? No, I don't think. I'm telling you it actually happened. Okay, well, let's say that you were actually hit by a car. Again, not hypothetical, just a okay. fact is what I'm trying to tell you. So somebody who's actually struck by a vehicle maybe would have marks or something, but you right now look fantastic. In fact, you look beautiful. Okay, thank you, but now I just feel like we're talking hurt. about something else. I'm grateful that you're complimenting me. I'm not- But you're not really hearing no, me. I'm just saying, it didn't seem like it affected you, whatever this thing that happened. Oh, I see. So now it's just a metaphor for our relationship. My point is, is that you're okay. Uh, yeah, I did smoke one of Maxine's joints, and I think that uh, maybe it's just, yeah. Me and cocaine are like oil and vinegar. Uh, I just think I'm, I'm not good at mixing substances. Again, this wouldn't be typical of cocaine. This is much more likely a dissociative agent like ketamine or angel dust. Can you do it? Yeah, we fucking did it. So she's getting visual hallucinations now. Oh. She's dead again? trying to fuck with me and I refuse to engage. Do you hear me? I won't do it. And I don't give a fuck if you disappear my cat. Melania, you're acting a little. What is in this? It's laced with cocaine, just like those ribs. Oh man, no. I have tried cocaine many times and nothing has ever fucked me up like this did. Yeah, you haven't even smoked it yet. Right, it's exactly. inevitably not cocaine. If there is it's gotta be chance, something else. It's gotta be something I mean, else. Any chance that there is something in here other than cocaine, I really need you to just tell me. It's so weird, but I quite liked it. The only thing that I can think of that vaguely fits with this entire experience is dissociation, probably caused by a drug like ketamine or angel dust. But at the moment, I can't think of anything else that can be. 
To be honest, I haven't got a clue what's going on, but I really liked it and I'm looking forward to the next one. Thanks for checking out the video. Thanks for checking out the channel. As usual, don't forget to like, leave any comments and make sure you subscribe. This is Mental Health. I'm Dr. Elliot and I will see you very soon for the next video. Bye.